Let me get right to the scene. I want you to take a look right here. This is eastbound I-10, the entrance at Williams. For about 200, 300 yards, the scene spans. If you look at this tanker truck with Levine on the side, what happened was tires blew. The axles, it caused him to swerve. He hit something. Uh, only one car wreck and it pierced one of the tanks. I understand in there there's five different tanks. It pierced one of them and it was leaking. Now take a look at some pictures that we have earlier. In each compartment is 2,500 gallons of gasoline or diesel. I'm not sure which uh, it is at this time, but it went leaking all over the interstate. It went in the canal that's just right off the interstate. I am told that uh, DEQ, Kenner Police, State Police, uh, Department of Transportation, we're all here. They have contained it in the canal, but there are uh, means at the pumping stations in Jefferson Parish to contain it with special containment booms in case it gets there. They have put sand all over the area, and another tanker truck has come to unload the four other compartments of 2,500 gallons each so it can take what's left in that uh, truck away. Now, this happened a few hours ago, and take a listen to what some of the people had to say. Well, we heard a big explosion from, I guess, what sounded like the tires or something popping. My mom thought it was coming from veterans, which when we came out, we saw that it was all this. What did you hear? A big, loud noise. And I mean, it scared everyone in my complex, which is right here. How is the driver? Uh, the driver's fine. There was no injuries. Uh, the driver was sighted with careless operation. So even when your tire blows out and that causes something, that is, that is a violation? Uh, there may be some other contributing factors to it. Uh, I don't have all that information right now, um, but uh, he, the driver was not impaired. Uh, it may have been uh, speed, may have been a factor. Now, it is unclear how long this scene is going to last. All the lieutenant who you just heard from could tell us is it's going to be quite some time. We're going to be staying here and letting you know when the interstate is back open. We hear, we don't have it confirmed, that there may be some wrecks on the westbound side from Gaper delay. People just slowing down just to eyeball this. So please be careful on the other side. We'll try to confirm that by the end of the show. Reporting live from Kenner, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. Meg